Hello everyone. I want to do my next video here. This one's going to be more about what to expect. Now, this queen right here in this mini hearth extra large has some pupa ready to enclose any day now. She's got one in her mouth, two, three, four, and then another one that'll make five. A larva. Now, this queen, just over 45 days. This one in this devolved chamber. She's got about a half a dozen workers. She's got four. She's got four workers. Brood. This is a close to 60 days, right around 60 day mark. Now this one in the. Sorry about this. In this mini hearth, this is my oldest one. This is all. This is more. This is right around 70 or close to it. I cleaned off the glass and they're already gumming it up again. About a dozen workers. Sorry, trying to get it to focus here. It's a little hard with them gumming it up like they do. But as you can see, now variations will occur. You know, you could have this could be one worker at 45 days. This could be a dozen workers at 60 days. And this could be half a dozen workers at 70 plus days. It all depends on the queen. This is just a general one right here. This is with heat. This is 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, heating cable. One of those right there. See, here's another right around 60 days. All of these are right about here, all about 60 days. Maybe a little less. These are the test tube ones. But see, I have them out so they can get used to the light. And see, that's the variety. This is how important heat is. Heat will rapidly increase their growth it cooks the brood especially ambient heat as in heat air temperature is a good thing to have high but if you can give them a little spot where they can cook it like on a heating cable your brood will grow that much quicker and I'll bring you out and I'll show you this one just to show you give me a second here folks now I've shown this one before this is the brood boosted one. Now this is the difference with the brood boosted. The nanics are bigger, more workers. Lots of seed pile, huge seed pile. Look at that brood pile. Now this queen was put in there roughly the same time as this one right there. Difference is, she is brood boosted. New workers every day. And the nanics are bigger. The first and second generation of her workers are bigger than, say, the first and gener second generation of these workers from this queen, the sun boosted colony. But yeah, that is generally what to expect come um, 45 days, 60 days, and 60 plus. Now, all of the, these right here should hit, they should hit probably 20, 25 workers here, 15 to 20 here, and if I'm lucky, 5 to 10 here. All depending on when they go into diapause. You know, it could be two weeks from now, could be four weeks from now, could even be six weeks. It all depends on... When these queens decide they're done laying and the brood stops growing and they stop doing what they're doing. But as you can see, that little worker right there, it's got garbage that's going to paste up on the glass. That's what they do. I just cleaned that glass today. That's the messed up part. 
waited a little too long to do my video. And no five-year-old commentary this time there, folks. You're going to have to just live without Tristan's commentary. But that's the different stages. Thanks for watching.